Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. This is Malankova, and there's a big open field down there to the left in front of me, and then over here is a pretty steep hill. And that's usually where I want to go if I'm in a heavy tank, so I'm going to go kind of northeast here. And you want to try to work your way around to the right here. If you go further to the left, you're likely to get spotted as you're going up this hill, and that's not a good thing although they don't have any artillery in this battle. And that M4A1 who just flew past me, he's a pretty good player. I have my little BDR here, French heavy tank. And we already lost somebody. So you want to work your way around to the right as far as possible so you don't get spotted. And if you notice, we've got some heavy tanks and just way too many people down there to the left, to the west on the map. Especially those two heavy tanks, that's a terrible place for them. So there's really just three of us going up the hill right now. See that windmill up there? And you want to try to not knock down trees because if artillery is watching you with an overhead view and they see a tree fall, they'll know where you're at. Not to mention that it, it actually slows you down a little bit if you knock over a tree. So it's better to avoid the trees if you can. And see, we're getting some spotting on the bad guys in red. That M4A1 at the top of the hill spotted all those guys. Either him or the T67 did. Got spotted. We didn't penetrate their armor. That should have penetrated. I'm using this dead tank for cover here. That from the base of the windmill. Sniper mode. holding it pretty well and plus hiding behind this dead tank is protecting me. Let's 
go deal with this guy. Man. of damage so far. That's a pretty decent game already. I would never do this in a real tank without this steep hill like this. Damn. There's a bunch of woods over here where there's likely to be tank destroyers. To the right, on the other side of that big building, there's some tank destroyers in those woods. And unfortunately, I can't see them. And I get greedy and go after this KB-1 here. So as soon as I go around this building, I'm going to get smacked by a tank destroyer. So yeah, I took two hits. Enemy is hit. The radio man is down. We can only signal nearby vehicles. Yeah, see? <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten so aggressive and going around the building because I got smacked by that M10. Three or four hits, and then the SU-85 got me a couple of times too. So I was fine before I did that. But we're way ahead and the nice thing you can do after you get killed you can switch to other tanks at least when you're playing live I guess you can't do that on a replay this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC and I want to thank you for watching this video if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out.